the government of Canada had banned me as a terrorist and security risk. Just for the uh, record, I'm not sure they called you a terrorist. I think they no, said they that did. you aided and abetted terrorists. No, no, they called me a terrorist. I have the documents. Well, each government presumably is allowed to make its own decisions about yes, who's but, allowed in or not. Yes, but uh, it's passing strange that a fellow Commonwealth government could describe a British member of parliament in the terms they had. I can't say for sure, but my hunch is that one of the reasons that uh, Jason Kenney and the Conservative government uh, were uncomfortable with the notion of you coming here was that they saw videos such as the one I'm about to play. An Israeli uh, broadcast, I just remind your viewers. Okay, let's, uh, we'll play the clip and then obviously yeah. we'll, we'll sure. hear your comment on sure. it. If you would, Michael, roll the tape. Here is the money. This is not charity. This is not charity. This is not charity. This is politics. The government of Palestine is the best people to decide where this money is needed. We are giving this money now. To the government of Palestine. And if I could, I would give them 10 times, 100 times more. Let's just clarify the source of the video. It did say on there that it was Al Jazeera. It also said it was memory. Which memory is, uh, is, an, an, is, is an Israeli uh, propaganda outfit. I was giving this money to the Ministry of Health. that you were giving money to an organization that has been declared to be yes, a terrorist. Yes, but I didn't give money to a terrorist organization, even if but you I accepted... Hamas, right? No, I gave money to the Ministry of Health. And the Ministry of Health happens to be governed by Hamas. I was giving this money to the Ministry of Health. But I just this want to be why clear I made the on, point. The, on the source of the video. You seem to question the source of the video. No, I'm questioning the editing of the video. It didn't look like there was any editing. Uh, well, right? of course, by editing, I mean there's no video of the remarks immediately preceding okay. the uh, but remarks you're that you, you said brought. What you said. I said everything that I said, and I'm very proud to defend it. Let's just really be clear here. Do you believe Hamas is a terrorist organization as the government of Canada does? No, I don't. That's not to say they haven't committed terrorist acts. They have. The resistance was landing rockets on Beersheba and Ashdod. I'm not a supporter of Hamas. I don't want Palestine. You're not to, a supporter of Hamas. I have never in all my life been a supporter of Hamas. You just gave them money. I may have. I didn't give them money. You've missed the point I've been making. Try, try to get the last five minutes. Clear. I gave it to the elected government to pay the nurses and the doctors in the hospitals in Gaza. But they are I don't know. You've missed they, this. They're in the government. You've right? missed, they are the government. They, are they the were government. the elected government. I have said 10,000 times, let me make it 10,000 and once. I am not now. I have never been. I don't expect ever to be a supporter of Hamas. That not only were you the Prime Minister of Palestine, that you were our Prime Minister too. I don't want to accuse you of being cute with the language. You're saying you're not a supporter of Hamas, you're a supporter of the government, but the government is Hamas. No, I'm a supporter of whichever government is freely chosen by the Palestinian okay. people. Okay. I would not have voted for them. If I had a vote, I'd vote to, to remove them from office. That not only were you 
the Prime Minister of Palestine, that you are our Prime Minister too. And he is our Prime Minister also. We're all Hamas now. The Prime Minister of Hamas is as gracious and gentle and wise and reasonable a person, Ismail Haniya, as anybody could ever meet. Today Orlando, where my friends from the New English Review web magazine recently exposed a major Hamas fundraising event. The scene was the Masjid al-Rahman Mosque in Orlando in January 2009. The event raised money for a group called Viva Palestina. Now that group is run by left-wing radical George Galloway. He's a former member of the British Parliament and a notorious shill for Islamic terrorists. He was joined at the Orlando Mosque by, surprise, the leader of a Muslim Brotherhood front group. If you write a check, your check should be made payable to Mass M-A-S, Freedom. And also we're 501c3, the relevant let me know that your donation is tax deductible. Now this event was supposedly to raise money for needy Palestinians in Gaza. But when Galloway visited Gaza a few months later, he presented the more than $1 million in aid that he raised during his U.S. tour directly to Hamas in clear violation of U.S. sanctions. Watch this. I personally am about to break the sanctions on the elected government of Palestine. We are giving this money now to the government of Palestine. And if I could... I would give them 10 times, 100 times more. Using a mosque to raise funds for terrorists. Hi, I'm Joe Kaufman. I'm chairman of Americans Against Hate. I'm speaking in front of the Radical Islamic Center of South Florida, or ICOSF, otherwise known as the Pompano Masjid. I have a number of reasons why I refer to this Islamic center as radical. First, the imam of the center, Hassan Sabri, has called America the enemy. Let me say that again. The imam of the center, Hassan Sabri, has called America the enemy. He did so in a sermon he gave to his congregation, which was posted on the center's website, which I have a copy of. Second. This Islamic Center, the one right here behind me, is owned by the North American Islamic Trust, a group that has been named by the U.S. Justice Department as being a financier to Hamas. Here's a document proving that the center is owned by the North American Islamic Trust. And here, here's a document proving that Nate was named as a co-conspirator in the financing of Hamas. This last bit of evidence is important today because George Galloway, an English activist, was supposed to be speaking at a fundraiser to be held at this center later tonight. That's important because, that's important because Mr. Galloway is widely known as a Hamas fundraiser. Indeed, in March 2009, Galloway, following a large fundraising drive, stated while in Gaza, quote, Whatever we bought, we will give. Tomorrow, our willing, at 10 o'clock in the morning, we will give all our vehicles, our keys, our aid, our money to Ishmael Hania, the elected Prime Minister of Palestine, end quote. Ishmael Hania is the head of Hamas in Gaza. I am happy to announce that George Galloway has been denied entry into the United States and will not be attending tonight's event. I want to thank U.S. officials for taking this action. 
Every individual who is connected to the financing of a terrorist organization such as Galloway is should not be allowed anywhere near the United States. They should be behind bars. Yeah. And this center offering to give a voice to a no terrorist fundraiser should be shut down immediately. Yeah. Furthermore, the Muslim Legal Fund for America, the organization sponsoring tonight's fundraiser and other fundraisers featuring Galloway to be held at different locations throughout the U.S. should be investigated as well. 100 vehicles. And all of the contents. And we make no apology for what I'm about to say. We are giving them to the Prime Minister Ismail Haniya. Help fight Islamic terrorism. Visit www.americansagainsthate.org.